Well, praise the Lord, here we are once again, just a little something to encourage you. I've often said you ought to be able to look around at just about anything in life and find a gospel message, gospel relevance. And coming in from church this evening, we stopped somewhere to get about to eat for just a moment. And uh, my daughter, she ordered a, a, what we would classify as a breakfast uh, meal, which were eggs. And as I got to looking at those eggs, I thought, man, eggs are just like Christians. A lot of times they look done on the outside and you never know till you poke them. And uh, a lot of times if they're not done and you poke them, then they just run all over the place. And that's the same way with a lot of Christians. A lot of Christians, they look done on the outside, but when trouble arises or opposition arises and life begins to poke at them a little bit, then they fall to pieces and they run all over the place. So today, let's not be like an egg and fall apart whenever trouble comes, but let's let God do that complete work and that finished work in our life so we can say just as the Bible does in Colossians 2 and 10, now you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. I hope this little uh, devotion will bless you, and I do ask you to pray for me. It seems like I've had a little bit of a head cold and uh, had a cough and not been able to preach 100% because of everything that's been going on. But amen, you pray for us. And uh, so looking forward to next month, whenever God is blessing us, Lord willing, to preach a revival for my good friend, Brother Francis Adonting. And uh, that's Brother Francis Adonting. And uh, that's in West Africa. He's a good friend of mine. I've known him for many years. And uh, you do help us pray about that. And I pray the Lord bless you real good. Till next time, in Jesus' name, amen. As we learn from looking at an egg, not to fall apart, but to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. God bless you is my prayer. Amen.